how amber forms. All right, today we're doing amber, which I appreciate is not strictly a crystal. In fact, it's not strictly a mineral either, but we're going to do it because it's cool. Resin production, hardening, burial and preservation, polymerization, and formation. This wonderful process is all going to start to unfold when trees, most notably conifers, aka pine trees, begin to produce resin, that sticky substance that tends to weep or ooze out of trees, and it's used to protect trees from things like insects and even heal wounds. Now, when this resin oozes out of that tree, it's initially soft and sticky. Over fairly protracted periods of time, this resin is going to begin to harden. Now, this happens as the volatile components in that resin begin to evaporate or are oxidised by exposure to the air. As the resin hardens, it's going to become more solid and slightly less sticky. And it's still not amber yet at this stage, but we've essentially started the process. For actual amber to form, this hardened resin that we now have has to be buried fairly quickly. This burial protects it from physical damage and exposure to elements that could otherwise break it down. Often, this resin gets buried under layers of soil, sediment, or even water bodies like rivers and seas. Now for the polymerization stage, which is a word that's dreadfully fun to say, because as the buried resin is subjected to particularly high pressure and temperature over sometimes millions of years, a chemical process called polymerization, say it with me, dreadfully fun to say, begins to occur. Now, this polymerization is when small molecules in that resin join together to form long chains, turning resin into a polymer. After millions of years of this polymerization process, as well as in conjunction with various other geological processes, the resin has now turned into what we recognize as amber. Now, a Quick disclaimer, it's not necessarily always millions of years, and I know that I will be corrected in the comments if I anchor myself into that, but it very often is millions of years, so that's the hill that I'm deciding to die on. Now, amber is essentially fossilised resin that has hardened over enormous periods of time, and sometimes, famously, preserved organic material like insects or plants or even small animals might get trapped inside. It becomes this durable material that can be polished and used in jewellery or for decorative items or for enthusiasts and collectors like you and myself to pour over and adore. 